Hey everybody, Average Gamer here. So I thought uh, I, I recently had a question um, posed to me about issues with getting Mech Commander 2 working with, uh, with Windows 10, I believe it was. Or just Windows. Can't remember if it was Windows 10 or not. But the question was put forth to me by John, and I s will gonna probably ruin your last name. Cora. Cora? Coria? John? How you doing, John? Phoenix, buddy. I can't pronounce your last name. I'm sorry. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, so he asked me about how to get Mech Commander 2 working on uh, on Windows 10, and gave him a couple steps. And I thought, you know what? Instead of typing it, best thing to do is just show it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the steps on. You already know the easy way. Now I'm going to show you the hard way on how to get Mech Commander 2 and Mech Commander to work with uh, Windows 10. So first things first, you've done the capability. You, you've you've run the capability um, troubleshooter. It still doesn't work. You load it up, you get a black flash, or you load it up and the screen just flickers for a quick second, or you load it up, you get a black screen, and that's it, or you load it up and you get an error message. Obviously, you ran the troubleshooter. It still doesn't work. It's still not working properly. What I'm about to show you, in my eyes, works about. I want to say 99.99% of the time if the first part doesn't work. What it is, is you right-click on the executable. So for Mac Commander 2, you go, it's the final, it's in the final build folder in Mac Commander 2. It's called MC2 RHEL. So you go to your Mac Commander 2 folder, go to the final build folder, scroll down to MC2 RHEL. In Mac Commander, it's just right MCX. It's the executable right on, uh, right in the main folder there. Right click on it, go to properties. You can right click on that one as well and go to properties on it as well. Now, see here, there's compatibility. Comp compatibility, sorry. I've got a bit of a cold, I, I apologize. Click compatibility. Now, what you're going to want to do, since you've already run the cap the comp <laughs> fuck, the compatibility troubleshooter, what you're going to do is you're actually going to select yourself here. You're going to put it in compatibility mode yourself. What you're going to do, because right now, both of these can be checked off. You're going to check them both on. And you're going to select in here, because it might be defaulting to Windows 8 or something like that. Put it in Windows XP Service Pack 3. For both. Now, if that doesn't work, try Service Pack 2 and then Windows 98. Try those three. Um... Mech Commander itself initially, the first one, pretty much works 99.99% of the time with the with the compatibility troubleshooter. Now and then, it, it gives you problems. But if you select Windows XP Service Pack 3 for both of them, it works. Now, you can get Mech Commander 1 to work, usually no problems. Mech Commander 2 does have its finickiness. Now, if all else fails, you've tried everything. You've even tried to install a fake version of the old versions of Windows as an emulator to run Mech Commander 2. Still doesn't fucking work. Or it's just a hassle. Don't worry. I got you. Rare. Mech Commander. Omnitech. They're probably thinking, well, it's Mech Commander still, right? It's actually Mech Commander 2. And, and, it's a standalone, built, fan-built mod, updated, well, last time it was updated was last year, but, worked on, so it's compatible with Windows, modern Windows, modern, Windows 7 and 8, to be specific. It works fine with Windows 10. Download it, and you're laughing. I just downloaded it, ran the installer, haven't touched anything. Go to, see? It's just running. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, if it's over, you know, a year or something old, you know, you probably, you know, had to do a lot of digging to find it. I did. You're not going to have to. Here it is. Mech Commander Omnitech. Now, to make this easier for you, is, you know, to sit there and read off the screen what I'm saying, what I've got here, it's in the description below. All you got to do is click the link. 
www.moddb.com slash mods slash Mac Commander Omnitech slash downloads. There you go. Already working. It's Mech Commander 2 with, with a ton of mods. Um, you can download extra campaigns for it if you want to. It's got tons of mechs. More mechs than you're even going to want and need. Um, I played some of the uh, some of the side missions and things like that. and You can spend hours and hours and hours just setting up the mechs that you want and just be sitting there giggling to yourself when they're all running around and fighting and shooting. It's, uh, it's something special. It's something special. But, there you go. Can't get Mech Commander 2 to work. Bam. Already set up and work with Windows 7 and 8. So no problem working on Windows 10. So, with that in mind, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any requests for videos, don't don't hesitate. Message me. Leave a comment. I do read all my comments. I may not respond to them all, but I do read them all. And, and if you have a request, I'd be happy to oblige. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.